Hi guys, so I'm back with a really fun video today. I also have a crazy story to tell you because basically I've had the most horrendous weekend ever really. We had a wasp infestation in our house, like between where the attic is and where our bathroom ceiling is, there's like insulation and there was a wasp nest in there and literally like we woke up to like over 50 wasps outside of our bedroom door. There were wasps like crawling on the floor so when me and my housemate woke up, there were like wasps all over the floor in our bedrooms and it was awful i'll insert like a video clip the white powder in the clip is like wasp killer and like you can just see the little bits and then it's pretty grim um so that was so stressful and like they basically couldn't get rid of the wasp nest because first of all it's really difficult to get to where the insulation is and second of all they believed that the queen of the nest had like left them all so they were all just like dropping dead because of it anyway so they were literally like yeah just give it a few days and like they'll all be dead and then that's it so it's been pretty annoying and it really like disrupted our lives not to be dramatic like we had to so me and my housemate had to sleep in our other housemate's bedroom because her room wasn't affected by it and then she had to go to her boyfriend so it was just very annoying we couldn't really go in all we could go in our rooms but it just like felt grim like literally was recording like on my bed and stuff like i've changed it and cleaned it since then like there's none now hopefully so it literally happened overnight it was just crazy but um just thought I'd tell you guys about that. Pretty exciting. I swear this house is just full of surprises. Not in a good way, in a bad way, as you can tell. But anyways, I want to get on with today's video because I'm so excited about it. I'm actually going to be showing you guys my updated skincare routine because I was very kindly sent stuff from Nip and Fab. I don't know if you can see that in the reflection i just love this box i love the color of it they sent me a kit to specifically combat oily congested and acne prone skin type now i don't have acne but i did i mean i don't have any more as bad like you can see some little red marks but i think that's just like marks from where spots were but um i had a very weird phase where i just got so many spots and my skin is quite oily naturally so when they said they had this i was like yes please send this to me and i feel like my skin has really been doing a lot better than it had been before right i stupidly forgot to take a before picture but i've got a picture from around the time when i started just before i started using this so i'll answer that here i'm literally exposing myself because i look awful in that as you can see this is how my skin has been since using it i feel like my skin is in a much better condition if i am being fully honest i still have like i said markings and stuff but i feel like i've always had these so one thing i've noticed though, since using this stuff so whenever i'd get a spot i would often have like you know when you pop it and then it stays lumpy and big for a while and it's just annoying and eventually it goes down but it takes a couple of days with this stuff that i've been using I, I don't know if it's specifically because of this or what but when i pop a spot and get rid of like the nasty stuff it literally is just like gone like literally overnight which i've not had happen before so i don't know if it's down to this or if it's just luck or what but i'm not complaining so yeah so i'm gonna go through everything that they sent me like i said i have been using it so it's not like full to the brim obviously i've been using it for probably about a month i want to say maybe even longer than that but yeah i'm just gonna go through each product i'm not gonna go through like in a specific order but i will go through my routine in order if that makes sense the very first thing which i've actually been loving so much is the nip and fab purify protect and replenish anti-pollution spf 30 moisturizer which looks like this i love how the packaging is all pink it's so cute one thing that i love about this range is how it's so focused on spf and making sure that you protect your skin even in winter i feel like especially in winter because like you forget that although it's cold it's still so sunny outside and it still affects your skin i'm definitely somebody that was very i guess like oblivious not oblivious like i just was a bit ignorant to it and i didn't care that much but i've done a lot of research more recently into like how bad it is if you don't wear spf and i'm just shocked at how little i was educated about it to be honest with you so i'm really grateful that they sent me this out i actually purchased a moisturizer that has spf before they sent me this anyway so i'm just glad that i've got this on top of that now so that hopefully it'll last me a while it's got a very hint of sun cream smell but i love that smells it is just such a lightweight moisturizer and your skin feels so moisturized obviously after applying it which is so good so that is the moisturizer the next thing i'm going to show you guys is the nip and fab purify salicylic 
fix concentrates i have obviously used but i kept the box because it literally explains it properly which i'm not going to remember exactly what it does or how i use it so i thought i'd keep it i've been using this twice a week because i think that's the maximum it was saying to use it and it's quite concentrated so i think it's quite bad if you use it more than that literally everything is pink in this um packaging which i can't lie i love a bit of pink i know right i don't know if you're gonna get me on this but i'm one of those people that doesn't like to admit that i love the color pink because i feel like it's so basic but i love the color pink so i'm not even gonna pretend i've been using this twice a week i literally just squeeze the pipette bit and you're only supposed to put like two to three drops are on your face anyways and you just kind of rub it in and you leave it but you can only apply this once you've like cleaned your face and cleansed it it is also suggest that you do a patch test when using this because i'm guessing it's quite concentrated and can cause irritation i've not had any irritations i really should have done this in an order i'm just randomly showing you guys them then the next thing is the sally to like fix facial scrub which is so pretty the packaging again like i said i love pink so there's sally to like acid in it which cleanses pores and reduces the appearance of oily skin there's vitamin e which is skin condition agent and an anti Antioxidant, antioxidant. I can never say that word. And then volcanic rock scrub, a natural and effective exfoliant. So with this one, I should have said with this one and that one, you're only supposed to use them in. I don't know why. You're only supposed to use them in the evenings. Uh, I don't know why. Doesn't it actually say why? But you're supposed to also use SPF protection. I don't exfoliate my face every single night because I don't think that's actually good for you. So yeah, I tend to use this a lot more than I've been using this, but I have been using this as well. This leads me onto this one, which is also in very cute packaging. This is a nip and fab purify. Sally's like fix gel cleanser. This one is also only to be used in the evenings. I'm I'm guessing that's something to do with the SPF in it. I and mean, the final thing, this one is definitely one of my favorite. It's the Nip and Fair Purify Salicylic Fix Pads. It's got salicylic acid to reduce breakout, phytofuse, rejuvenate to speed up healing time. Do you know what? That must be it because whenever I've had a spot that's been popped, I use this to clean it and to like properly like scrub it. That must be why. The pads are made from 100% biodegradable fabric, which is really cool. I have seen these in Tesco's and if you have a club card, you can get them so much cheaper, which is crazy. So if you haven't got one, I would invest in one and definitely go down to Tesco's and get these because I've noticed such a change in my skin. I forgot to even show you. The packaging is so cute. So they sent like this little black stuff, but the cutest thing is they sent, I don't know why, can't like, it's a bit random, but... They send little animal pastas, which I thought was adorable. This one's a little lion. I had an elephant one as well somewhere, which I thought was so cute. Um, I'm going to get on now with showing you how I use it and my actual routine. I had to shift my camera angle about and ignore how I look. So I've got my little headband on. I'm going to start off with the exfoliating scrub. And then I'm going to go in with the gel one. And then after that, I'll come back here and use the other products. So I will take you guys with me to the shower room. Shower room? Bathroom. It's a bathroom without a toilet. It's still a bathroom. I'll take you guys in there with me. I hope I'll be able to prop you up at a good angle because I don't know how I will prop you guys up. Um, we'll see. So I'm in the bathroom. It's very echoey. I'm trying not to be too loud because I feel awkward. I don't think I've shown you guys my shower. It's a really small room. The little towel rail. Then my shower is literally here. It's quite long. Like, it's quite a big shower. But I'm not going to show you guys the floor because it is a bit messy. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm using... This one first, which is the exfoliator. I haven't exfoliated in a few days because I wanted it to be very satisfying for when I did this video. So I hope you guys appreciate that. So now that I've used that, I'm going to be using the gel cleanser. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see my skin like a lot better, which isn't a good thing because you can see how many spots we have. Then I pump it. And that is my skin now that I've used both of them. You can really see every little detail in my skin, which I'm not loving. But I guess that means it's really clean. I don't normally use all five on the exact same day because you are supposed to use it in variation. So the next thing I'm going to use, I don't really need to use it so much because I already cleaned my face. But it's the night pads. These are really good if you've just taken makeup off with like a normal pad. This will just make sure that my skin is really clean because when I pop this on, this has to be on very clean skin. But yeah, I use one. One is normally enough. And I just go all over my face. Sally's to like fix concentrate. Booster. I like I said, I'm gonna squeeze it and put 
three drops. I put one drop here, one here, and one there. And then I kind of rub it in and leave it be for a bit. How cute. It's actually pink, which matches that. I put way too much on this one. And then you just kind of rub it into your skin. And then I'm going to let it dry. And after that, I'm going to pop my moisturizer on, which is the final step. I'm just quickly going to put some lip balm on. This isn't from it. It's just Vaseline lip balm. Because it's like winter now. I don't know if anyone else gets this, but my lips get so dry in winter. Like, it's insane. And then the final thing I'm going to do is use the Nip and Fab Protect and Replenish Moisturizer. It depends how much you want for your skin. Sometimes I'll do two pumps, but often one will be enough. Final ending to my routine is this it's in lash serum this might be a bit dodgy but i bought this lash serum from depop i have actually noticed difference i don't know if you can properly tell it's not a drastic difference but you can really see that it's a lot better than what it was i actually had my lashes done before summer and i think they did damage my well they didn't damage my eyes so much it was more me i got really fed up with them and i started picking them out which you're not supposed to do do not do that if you have lash extensions and i picked out a lot of my natural lashes which is my fault completely but you have to be careful not to put too much otherwise your eyes it can get in your eye and then it's kind of annoying that is my finished skincare routine so thank you so much Nip and Fab for sending me out these items like i'm so grateful that i got given the chance to try out brand new products like it's not often like i do not have the money being a student to go and buy a whole new skincare range so using this has literally been amazing and the fact that it works so well with my skin tone and yeah i'm gonna leave a link below if you guys want to go directly to nip and fab and look at their products but like i said if you are on a budget and you want to get this exact skincare range i would go tesco's and use your club card because it's a lot cheaper there otherwise that is the end of my skincare routine i hope you guys enjoyed it i am trying to get back into a schedule to upload on youtube because it's annoying me how little i've been uploading but i just it's summative season i don't know if you know what summative season is but for us it's that she were like all your deadlines and like assignments are literally coming together and all of these assignments count towards my degree so there's like a bit of pressure just a little bit um to do well uh especially because i've got no idea what i'm gonna do after uni don't even get me started on that's a whole other conversation which i do not even want to have so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with me i am going to get back into the swing of uploading soon enough anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video